What's up everybody, Andrew with NQS Performance Outdoors, coming to you from the workshop. I want to take a few minutes tonight to talk about our conversation we started the other day about keeping bass fishing affordable for young anglers, and tonight I want to focus on fishing reels. I have several reels laid out here on the table tonight. I'm going to touch on each one of those reels, talk about what I think makes them a good value and their price point, and then I've got one reel here that maybe I don't feel like is such a great value after all. Again, I'm not here to brand bash. I'm not here to downplay a certain brand over another. I'm not sponsored by anybody. These are all reels that I paid for with my own money, and if I can save a young kid from making the same mistake that I made, I hope that I can. I'd rather see that youngster get a reel that he's going to be 100% satisfied with in the long run. So we're going to flip this camera around. We'll take a look at these reels and get right into it. All right, you guys, the first reel I'm going to talk about is the spinning reel. I don't do a lot of fishing with spinning reel applications, to be real honest with you. I would never go out and spend a ton of money on a spinning reel. I don't use them enough to get the value out of them. This is the spinning reel that I've settled in on, on what I believe to be a really good value. It's the Sedona 2500 from Shimano. I use these for drop shotting and when I want to throw a shaky head on a spinning rod. Um, it's got five bearings. You guys, don't get caught up in the ball bearing count. Um, a reel with 10 ball bearings isn't exactly a great reel if they're crappy ball bearings. One thing you're going to no notice about Shimano right away, their bearing counts are significantly lower than some of the other manufacturers out there. With that said, their bearings are of a very high quality, so their reels retrieve very smooth. Their um, carbon fiber drags, so the drags are always really smooth. For me, this is the one that I use drop shotting. I always drop shot with braided line tied to a fluorocarbon leader. Um, you guys, this reel comes in at 80 bucks, and it does everything that I could ask it to do at an $80 price point. Um, again, to go out and buy a CI4 Plus for $220 for a guy like me who rarely breaks out a spinning rod would just be silly. So I feel really good about recommending this reel to young anglers at $80. I know it's a little bit on the pricey side, but definitely worth the money. It's going to hold up. It's pretty bulletproof, and it's going to do everything that you need it to do out there on the water. All right, you guys, moving into bait casters here. I've got five reels that I'm going to touch on real quick. Four of them I would have no issues recommending. The last one I'm going to talk about is one that I would actually encourage people to stay away from. Um, but first up is going to be the most expensive one here um, that I would recommend to young anglers is a Shimano Sitica. Try to get the glare off that so you can see it a little better. Sitica HG200. So it's a 200 size reel. It's got a pretty wide spool on it, so it's got a lot of line capacity. Um, it does have the X ship. It's got a really smooth drag. The drag star is actually metal on it. It's got a really nice uh, sized um, reel handle. Um, metal fitting there, metal metal drag star like I said, and this reel you guys, it's just a workhorse. I can't say enough positive things. This reel comes in at $150. Like I said, this is going to be the most expensive reel that I talk about for the young kids today. Um, at $150, it's probably, depending on your situation, it may be a budget stretcher. It may not, depending how much help you're getting from your parents, if you're doing part-time work in the summer to help uh, fund your fishing habits or not. But you guys, for $150, you cannot go wrong with a Shimano, Shimano Sitica. It's just a really high-quality reel, and it's a workhorse. It's going to do everything you need it to do. Comes in multiple gear ratios. The one that I have here is the HG, which is a 7, 2 to 1, but it also comes in a 6 speed. Um, so give that one some serious consideration, you guys. If you're going to look at uh, spending 150 bucks, this is one that's definitely worth looking at when you go in the store to, to pick one out. Next one I'm going to talk about real quickly here is the Daiwa Tatula. This is the um, CT100. So it's also a uh, 7, 3 to 1 gear ratio. You can see it's not as wide in the spool. It does have a really good line capacity, though, for a 100 size reel. I can't complain about the reel capacity at all. Uh, one thing Daiwa has here is the T-Wing um, line guides. Um, so that does um, reduce some of the line slap coming out. Um, they use no centrifugal brakes. It's just the mag force braking on these, uh, but it's really easy to get it dialed in, you guys. It uh, The one drawback I would say to this reel is the plastic drag star. Um, it doesn't affect the performance or anything like that of the drag. It's just it's a little bit on the chintzy side, uh, but that's okay. This is a great reel. 
I just took this reel down to Florida, had a 100 bass day, probably 60 of them were caught on this reel right here, including my personal best ever, and it handled it flawlessly. Um, it's got um, really good sized paddles for your thumbs when you're gripping the reel, and it's you can see it's got the uh, cutout uh, reel handle to save some weight there. Uh, I think this thing comes in around 7 ounces, but this thing is an absolute workhorse, much like the Sitka. Um, but again, you've only got the single braking mode here, no centrifugal brakes on the inside. You're going to do everything with the external dial and the tension knob right here. But again, at 129 bucks, you guys, this is a killer reel. I'd like to add a few more of them into my arsenal, to be honest with you. Um, at that price point, it's tough to beat. Uh, it does come in multiple gear speeds as well. It comes in a 6-speed and a 7-speed. I'm not sure if there's a 5-speed if you're going to do deep cranking, but 6- um, and 7-speed for sure, 129 bucks. Give this one a serious look, you guys. Okay, the next reel I want to touch on real quick is a Bass Pro Shops reel. This is the old version. I have not tested the new version of the Pro Qualifier. I picked these up last spring. Um, they typically retail for $100. I got these for $50 bucks a piece, you guys. Um, so I, I would strongly recommend taking a look out for these, um, especially in the spring when they have their spring fishing classic. Sometimes they go on sale for a really good price. But even at $100, bucks, you guys, they're really worth the money. You can see I've got this one loaded up with braid. I put this on my frogging reel, and then I've also got one on my flipping stick that also has braid. Once I put braid on a reel, I never... Um, go away from using braid on it it's just easier for me to not have to mess around i know which reels get braid which ones don't and this thing uh seven to one gear ratio it's a little bit heavier maybe it's going to be around eight ounces if i had to guess but again it's still in the right neighborhood um, it sits really low it doesn't have a really big profile on the reel seat which is nice for me i like the way it palms and for a hundred bucks you guys i can't recommend this reel enough to a young angler um Give this one a look for sure if you're in that hundred dollar price range. Um, the other one I'd look at, I don't have one here, is the Shimano Casitas for a hundred dollars. Another really solid reel at that hundred dollar price point. So the last reel I'm going to talk about for reels that I would recommend um, is actually super inexpensive. It's forty bucks on Amazon, maybe fifty depending on the day. It's the Cast King Royal Legend. Uh, you'll see in one of my other videos where I actually took it apart so you guys if you're interested you can see how the insides of it look. It's got a CNC machined brass main gear. Um, it's got a 17 pound drag. It actually has a more powerful drag than any other reel that I've talked about today um, and it works. Uh, I've used this reel on King Salmon in Lake Michigan and, and it turned big fish and, and did just fine. Um, one thing you'll notice is it's, it's very plasticky. Um, the fittings maybe aren't as flush you know there might be some cosmetic things to this reel that you may not like but the bottom line is if you're on a super tight budget you know you're looking at reels in that fifty dollar range i would go ahead and get this one i've used the black max and the silver max from abu garcia i would choose the cast king over either one of those reels so um if you're on a tight budget this is the one for you you guys the last reel I'm going to talk about in this category is this guy right here. This is a Quantum Energy PT. I believe it's still current in their lineup. This is the 100 SPTA. Um, it's really lightweight. That's about the most positive thing I can say about this particular reel is that it's really lightweight. I think it's about 6 ounces. Uh, I made a mistake. I've been a quantum user for a lot of years. Um, I ordered this one sight unseen, and I'm not super thrilled with it, you guys. It's got a lot of play in the handle. Um, the brakes are just okay on it. The retrieve is noisy. Uh, it, it feels sort of grindy. And I think I paid, I want to say I paid about 180 bucks for this reel. I know you can get them now for under 150 You'll find them all over eBay for under 100 There's a reason they're on eBay. Nobody wants them anymore, you guys. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you I would pick up my Cast King reel that I paid $40 for every single time over picking up this reel. It's just I don't know how else to put it. It's not a very high quality reel. It's a six speed. It's plenty fast. You know, um, the drag is okay on it, but the price point that this thing comes in at, this should be, in my personal opinion, 
like a $70 reel, maybe an $80 reel, $100 on its best day. Um, if I were going to tell somebody, um, you know, that they're going to go out and spend 150 bucks on a reel, this is one that I would probably recommend you stay away from. It looks slick. It's got good styling to it. The palm's really nice. That's the one thing I, I can say. I have a relatively small hand, and you can see how well it fits in my hand. Um, other than that, it just doesn't have much going for it, guys. I, I would have to tell you to stay away from the Quantum Energy PT. That's my personal opinion on it. You may feel differently, um, but hopefully I can save you a little bit of heartache if, you, if you're going to go out and spend that kind of money. Buy a Shimano, buy a Daiwa, buy a uh, Buy a Luz, uh, buy an Abu Garcia. There's just a lot of better options out there for you in that $150 price point. You guys stay away from this one. All right, you guys, there you have it. There's my breakdown on reels that I consider to be both affordable and offer good value, especially to young anglers just starting out in the sport of bass fishing. If you like what you saw here today, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications when we upload new videos. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the feedback below. If there's a video that you're looking to see made in particular, something I can help you out with, also let me know in the feedback below. I'll do my best to get that done for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on NQS Performance Outdoors.